guys, my name is Sam Locke. I'm going to show you guys uh, some intermediate clinch work. So say that he has a dominant clinch. From the hands outside, you want to have your forearm on the shoulder blade. So you're in a deep clinch. Go up, push out as much as you can. Get the get one hand in. Get elbow up. Then you're going to overlap, lock in. This, the other side, you're going to cross over. Push, push against the stage, cross bar, and grab the uh, his forearm. Then swing your back leg into a circle, break his balance, and then you can knee him. So now that you got you got basically uh, two arms on one, and then you have the space. So you go for a nice knee. So again on the other side. So it's gonna be a clinch. Push out. Up, hands pinch, shoulder head pinch, lock up, grab the arms, swing out, good? So um, it's going to be one in, one out. So what you want to do here is uh, press the shoulder, chuck your shoulder into the armpits, pretend you're tossing them over. Lock up your biceps to the head. I'm gonna go for a knee, boom, whatever you wanna do. Slide it up. You're gonna pinch your uh, shoulder and shoulders, uh, head and shoulder together. Grab the arm. Press your body into his arm and then grab it. It's gonna be like a reverse Kamari. So from here, <coughs> up here, lock up the head with your legs and you can knee down, fall down to the back. This is more of a traditional, um, uh, figure four lock, as you see in some of the temples. This is more of the, the Komori version, but this is more of our traditional lock right here. It's like a reverse. Good? So we're going to do it again. So here. And here. Grab the arm, push up, shoulder chuck, chuck up, head chuck up, grab your bicep, lock it, knee, knee. Up, slide up, grab the arm, put pressure on the uh, arm, try to bend it, then grab it, grab your own biceps, knee, leg goes over the head, lock your knees together, and rotate. You can also fall on the ground. Good? So, that's it for some of the clinch. Thanks.